Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor Nishiavatar and this is going to be my bookshelf reorganisation video. I always had two bookshelves and now I've acquired three. So now I have this lovely beautiful corner for my bookshelves. So the rest of this video is just going to be um, me taking the books off the bookshelves and then reorganising them in this kind of layout in the format you see before you. I also have another bookshelf here that you can't see off camera but the angle you're going to get most of the time when I film videos is going to be in this corner here. I'm so excited to have all these extra shelves because I'm sure as you've seen through the previous videos I've had on my channel I've just had books kind of crammed in every which way because I was outgrowing the two shelves I had. Now I have another complete bookshelf to fill up with all my wonderful books that I'm going to acquire <laughs> over the rest of this year and beyond. Hopefully I don't film up too fast because I don't have room in my living room for any more bookshelves even though I would secretly love that. <laughs> I've crammed a lot in my living room already, <laughs> don't have room. So yeah, just enjoy the rest of this video. It's probably just going to be sped up footage um, with some music and then at the end I do do an overlook of the bookshelves and what I've categorised each shelf into. So enjoy!
so I'll probably have a proper introduction to this video. Um, I'm just going to quickly explain what it is that I've done. Um, so for this bookshelf here, I've still just got my uh, Tolkien books, my C.S. Lewis books, and then all like my Bible and Christian study books um, up at the top here. Not much has changed in that, I've just kind of reorganised it. On the next shelf down, we have my adult sci-fi section. So I have my Becky Chambers and my Ian Banks and my Sylvia Nouveau and my Douglas Adams and also my beautiful edition of Jurassic Park lives on the shelf now. Um, and yes, I know Illuminate is not um, an adult book, but it fits with the sci-fi shelf. Then this next one down is more like adult books. So it's got a lot of my zombie books here, my Maya Grant section and just some more adult books. And then these next two I'll do together. So this is more um, young adult books. So this is a mix of books I read a very long time ago, um, Hunger Games and my Wicca books by Kate Tierman and then obviously my J Percy Jackson books and my beloved Inkheart series and his Dark Material books. So that's two young adult kind of shelves, if that makes sense. And then this bottom shelf here is my TBR. So the whole back row is in order of when I bought them, so I can try and read my oldest owned books first. And then this pile on the left is books I bought recently myself, and then the pile on the right is ones I've acquired because of like my birthday. Um, so they're the front two stacks of the most recent books. This is the most TBR books I've had in a very long time, if not ever. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to get to a lot of these books. And I've not spaced them out because my rule is still just one shelf, even if I am pushing it slightly with the way this is looking. <laughs> And then back up to the top, the next shelf, I'm quite excited about having um, a curve um, and a corner, so I'll probably film at an angle. Um, this top shelf is mostly just my Charlene Harris books, I got quite a lot of her series, and then my paperback editions of the All Souls trilogy <laughs> by Deborah Harkness. Um, next shelf down is some of my vampire books, so it's my hardback of the Discovery Witches series and my Nora Roberts books along with some other adult series. And then next one down is a kind of mixed shelf. Um, it's got all my Christina Henry books, my Carolyn Logan books and my Neil Gaiman and then Terry Pratchett. I always kind of like to put my Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett together because they co-authored Good Omens together and I like having them side by side. Although they're not sitting side by side on the shelf, and I'll need to sort that in a minute. This is kind of a mishmash shelf, but with the way that I'm going to be filming at an angle, I kind of wanted certain books at my back, and to a certain extent, I can put all my books together that are sci fi and/or fantasy and/or zombie, but I want to keep books that are by the same author together as well, so that ends up being a bit awkward. <laughs> Next shelf down, doesn't really have anything on it just yet, it's an empty shelf to fill. And then here at the bottom, um, this is parallel to this shelf here, is my PC and Kristen cast, the House of Night series, and like my other vampire books, so the Nightworld series, and then all my books by Stephanie Meyer. And then on the bottom here, um, these bottom shelves are the highest shelves, so this is where I need to have all my, my graphic novels. So I've got like my... The Sandman series that I started that I really need to continue with and then I've got my saga books. I'm so excited that they're continuing on and writing more. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting more graphic novels and filling this shelf up. And then we go over to this shelf here and I've just got my few books that are kind of um, adult crime fiction and then a few classics. Um, yeah, not really much to say about that. And then I've got empty shelf. And then the shelf here, I've got my 
Pelinar book by Alison Krogeron, and I've got the Earthsea books, and these are all more, I kind of ran them again, and I'll need to move that Heidi up, <laughs> up to the classics. So this shelf's empty, apart from a few books I've got in Gaelic. They probably won't live there, it's just because I've got some empty shelves now, um, that that's the way that is. And then, oh, it's kind of awkward to show you this one because I'm right up hard against my dining table. And this is, for context, parallel to the toilet books here. So I've got my Vampire Academy books that I have and a few more books um, that are young adult. So I've got my Cassandra Clare books and then my Anthony Harrow books. books. And then at this bottom shelf here is um, my sister's stuff, so I won't show that. That's my bookshelves and I've acquired a whole other bookshelf. We rearranged my living room and got more units for other things. So there was always four bookshelves here but my sister had two and now she's only got one because she now uses a cabinet instead. So I've acquired three. So this is kind of probably going to be the angle that I film videos at. So that's why I wanted all my favourites like sci-fi and all my favourite books um, in this kind of corner. So that's why to other people it might not seem that there's a lot of rhyme or reason to the way my books are. But as you can see I've got a lot of room to grow as well and I'm very excited. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave in the comments if you've got any questions about my bookshelves and the way I've organised everything. Um, it might look slightly different here to how it was in the video. I have kind of moved a couple of bits and pieces about and I have now added like some of my shelf decorations back. I'm not sure how long they'll stay there because my cat loves to climb all over my shelves and he likes to knock things off as cats do. They just swipe everything off the shelf. So I'm um, hoping my decorations and ornaments can stay put. Um, I also don't think I had my lovely edition of Jurassic Park sitting out like this in that video. Um, but now you get to see it all the time because it's stunning. So enjoy. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.